Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pruder channel. Today I'm doing a paid review. This is paid review 21QA 104. Before we do this paid review, whist, 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 watch, check. What am I wearing today? Rolex X. No, Rolex Submarina. It's my Submarina. Steel Sports, Steel Sports. This is the 41mm Submarina. Thank you, MJT. Okay, today I got an interesting paid review. It's a book. That's right. This is a book. The Vintage Rolex Field Manual by Colin White. Now, I got to tell you, let me just read you the story here. Uh, hello, Archie. I'd like to send you a copy of my book I made last year, the Vintage Rolex Field Manual. Uh, it's available at www.vrfm.io and also at Amazon. I'll put a link down below. No, it's not an affiliate link. It's just a link he sent me. I'm a vintage vintage watch guy and just refuse to buy anything new from an AD. Uh, pretentious fakers. Yes, I agree. So after building out a most building out a most collection since the 80s, I compiled everything into a book aimed at newer, younger vintage enthusiasts. Uh, he said, Archie, I'd like you to review this book. Uh, do a paid review on my book. This book is a self-published and there is no mighty publishing house or enterprise marketing budget. I created the whole thing myself. Soup to nuts. I paid for an editor to look over my grammar and a graphic designer to assist with the typesetting. But otherwise, it's by my hand alone. I'm a middle class Gen X dad with a white collar job. I created this book after the kids were in bed each night and at the ass crack of dawn before even the dog got up. I was ra born and raised in Hong Kong and now live and work in the US of A. And having been here 10 years now, I still find the place weird. Uh, I've traveled the world and learned that I don't seem to fit in anywhere, yet alone. And yet home is wherever I land at the end of the day. I've been a subscriber of your channel for many years now and identify with much of your worldviews. Anyhow, uh, let me know what you think of the book and um, consider it a complimentary gift. Um, so I got to tell you, this is from, from Warm Regards, Colin. I got to tell you guys, I get heaps of requests to review stuff. And often, you know, I can be a little bit critical. And that's because you can't buy, you can't buy my opinion. This landed on my desk. And what do I think of it? What do I think of this book? I got to be totally honest with you. It's fantastic. This book is absolutely amazing you cannot put this down he's got a fantastic i like the introduction it tells you all about the timeline of of of, of watches and when things uh when he look when rolex launched the prince when they launched key key events in the history uh so it's got a very very good good um very very good context and uh it brings it up to date what i do love about it is he gets involved nitty-gritty okay we're talking serial numbers with reference uh model numbers all the intricate he's got some fantastic photos in here uh and he basically goes into into huge detail of what you should should look look for this is a really good reference guide here serial obviously he's got all the good stuff serial numbers how to date a watch what <clears throat> year and codes etc 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 he's got chapters on condition case backs all sorts of talks about corrosion so if you're in the field you're looking at a vintage watch this is the bible you've got to have 
I got to tell you, I've never seen anything quite like it. He even discusses the antique hallmarks. I mean, this book, I got to be honest with you, this has been designed by an enthusiast. Everything that you want to know is here. For example, the different, different, um, the different Rolex emblems. What happened? Where are they? As well as the dial, just variations. And I got to be totally honest with you. If you're in the field, you, vintage is becoming a minefield. And I got to tell you, I wish I had a book like this um, when I was, you know, years ago. It's a fantastic book. Uh, I just, the only thing that makes me a little bit upset is I sold all my vintage off. But this is amazing. He's got absolutely everything. He goes in to the history of it. This book is absolutely amazing. I love it. Talks about 007 and the, the first uh, James Bond, which was a 6538. He talks about that there. He talks about absolutely everything that you'd want to know about these pieces. This book is filled with information. He's got, he's got reference or reference materials from the period uh, it's it's just so full on. For example, the double red sea dweller, one of the most collectible watches. He talks about the Mark One, the Mark Two, the Mark the Mark Three. Every variation. What is the difference? I've never seen such a complete, fantastic guide. Guys, if you are into vintage Rolex. You need to get this book. I, I mean, I'm not just saying that. This is the Bible. So, so that was the double red. And then he's got a section just right. The, the Great White. The Great White. My friend Dave will need one of these books. Dave, you need this book, mate. He talks about the different fonts. The Mark Zero dial. The Mark One. The Mark Two. The Mark Three. The Mark Four dial. He puts it into a context. What's the difference? What happened? This book is is absolutely absolutely amazing i've got to tell you it is just spot on the money uh, i'm just looking up explorers he's got all the he's got it all covered here uh and and you know where else do you get reference just 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 such an easy guide pull out what model caliber the caliber it should have in the watch uh, it tells you all the information, tells you what sort of bezel it should have, case size, what, it's, what metal, is it a quick set or not a quick set, is it, what, what is it exactly? This, i got to be honest with you, you are into vintage watches, you've got to have this guide. It is as simple as that, guys. If you are into vintage, you've got to get it. Simple as that, man. You have to get this guide guide this is the the best guide i have ever seen and i've got all the books believe you me i have all the books let's have a look here this is my library look there there we go that's 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 my library there look there that's my library over here all my books here i've got heaps and heaps of books and magazine my reference material i i gotta tell you the truth you need Inf knowledge is power. You need the information at your fingertips. This book, amazing. Uh, I mean, I've got, I try and buy every Rolex book that comes out there. This is absolutely the best compact guide. I, I just can't put it down. I cannot put this book down. It is absolutely amazing. So I got to tell you, if you are a Rolex nut, this is what you want. He doesn't avoid date just, date just. He's got all the date just information, the catalog, the, the little booklet that's supposed to come with it. Tells you absolutely everything. Reference numbers. Ser it tells you what it is, what this is. This is hard to get info. It's all pieced together. This guy has spent hundreds and hundreds of hours putting this this together he's got movement photos so you can see if, if the movement's right the right movement for the watch this guy here has gone 
overboard. He's an enthusiast. Um, he's just somebody who loves watches. He loves his watches. And I've got to tell you, this is this is one of the best Rolex guides I've ever seen. It's it's 85 bucks. And I, I got to tell you, man, if you are a... It's got the date stamps. Tells you all about the bracelet stamps. The different... Man, this is this has got everything. All the class date codes. Uh, the end links. End links. End links. Man, it tells you what end links it's supposed to, to come with. Oh. Man, it's, a, it's, it's all in here. The Vintage Rolex Field Manual. Let me tell you, this book is essential. If you love vintage Rolex, if you love vintage Rolex, if you have a vintage Rolex, you got to get the book. It is that good. This has got, I tell you what, this is just a field, the name of it, Rolex Field Manual. This I would this box this this book is going proudly into my bookshelf here with all my other next to my James Dowling. I reckon this is better than the James Dowling. Um, I've got the vintage Rolex sports models. That's a great book, but this has got it goes into detail where that is missing out. That has very nice photography. This has critical information, guys. If you are into vintage, this is the book to get. I proudly recommend, proudly endorse the Vintage Rolex Field Manual. Guys, get it. Just get it. Link down below. No affiliate links. This is just, it just, it just is the books for him. Get this book now. I'm Archie Luxury. This has been a paid review. He gave me the book for free. And I got to tell you, I love this book. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Guys, if you're into vintage, get this book. It, it's 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 amazing. Okay, guys, that's today's review. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Guys, just remember too, I can't survive on the Google Ads alone. Google Ads, Google, 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 Google Ads isn't the way to survive. I need paid reviews. Paid reviews is what keeps me on YouTube full time. Please, if you haven't done a paid review, Please get one done. Anything I will review, try and answer, I will try my best. I'm Archie Luxury, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is is where the pontiff goes you know some of my paddocks came from vintage watch co that's right guys vintage watch co